This is the medic tent. So this is a place where we can treat people who need medical attention because people uh, uh, can uh, get injuries. Uh, we had like on this camp, we had uh, to deal with a lot of uh, wasps and uh, many people got stabbed by the wasps and stuff like that. But also when you go on action, you can deal with police violence and people got smashed and then we can take care of them, we can see if we can treat them ourselves or we have to uh, send them to a doctor or to a hospital. At least they get uh, the right medical attention uh, what they need. Basically what we uh, deal here is like uh, on the campsite we have our, our, our base, that's the medic tent, but when people go out for action um, they go on the street and we try to uh, let medic teams go with them. So if something happens on the street, we can treat them on the street. And um, uh, because we know what police do, we know what uh, activists do, we are activists ourselves, uh, we can better respond on, on all the situation and we can, uh, uh, we can deal uh, with that um, and try to get people as safe as possible or get them out of the, the risky parts. Uh, thankfully, like in a great part of the week, it was not necessary because we didn't have to deal with uh, police violence until Friday with the big mass action. Uh, and in daytime, there was some police violence, but not, not really, really bad, but there was some. So we had to treat some people and some people got hurt by uh, bushcrafting, uh, going through the swamp and stuff. Uh, so we had to clean several wounds. Uh, but Friday night there was a noise demo at the police station and the police was very aggressive and they smashed people real badly. And then we had a very busy night treating all the people who were injured. injured. Our teams divided up. Like in general you had four big groups. Uh, there was the kitchen block, uh, but we asked the parents to, uh, if they had first aid knowledge and there was one nurse under the parents who, who would join the, the kids block and because we thought that would be the, lo uh, the lowest risk, uh, we didn't send one of our teams there uh, because we had not so many people. Uh, then we had a group uh, of lockers who went very early in the morning and we went out with one team so we, we, we just went with them in the dark clothes through the woods uh, climbing over the fence going, and they locked on and we stayed as medics uh, near the police spokesperson so we could try to negotiate that they would respect us as medics and they would uh, keep us there until the last locker would go away but it's always difficult to negotiate that and please don't always accept you as a medic. Uh, after that, people got sent out. Um, they went away. And the two other groups went through the forest and every group had one medic team. And at the end, we all came together and we divided again. So, um, but there was no big needs for medic attention on the street, like Friday, uh, actually only on, in the night. I think it was good, it went well, um, and especially from the point of view as a medic, like we were very concerned about the hygiene and about maybe accidents happening inside the camp. Um, and nothing bad happened, uh, nobody got sick, we didn't have any hygiene problems and I'm very proud that we took that, we did that very great um, and except for the police violence uh, we didn't have really bad injuries uh, of, well, stupidity of people themselves so, um, and I think that went really well, uh, people worked pretty safe uh, so I think uh, for that the camp itself worked really well. Uh, maybe for the outreach um, it was very difficult. I think only on Friday we got quite some press, but I don't know, I don't have an overview about the press uh, uh, 
attention but I think like in Holland there was not so much attention in the press about what we did and we kind of failed in doing that and I really wonder what the outreach was uh, also towards the locals and uh, so I, I'm not sure if we had a great success on that but I think we did some quite nice actions and I think uh, being on the camp and living together and uh, spending time together to think about nice ideas I think that was a good success for the future um, I would say like always take care of your own body uh, be aware try to get enough sleep or as much as possible uh, think of your hygiene so you won't affect other people and always if you go on street doing action always have like a small kit take enough water with you when you go on the street especially when it's hot weather and prepare on the weather like if it's hot wear sunscreen if it's rainy wear rain clothing stuff like that uh, so you have a better condition to do the action and you won't get exhausted by the circumstances take food take water maybe uh, take a, a isolation blanket with you or stuff like that or maybe a very small medical kit so you could have your own plasters and you don't need uh, a medic team for all small stuff and it would be nice if even that would become a do-it-yourself kind mm -hmm. of thing but uh, I think the awareness of taking care of your own body is really important if you go in action I think it was great and we had also a good team here and there was a good atmosphere in the camp so I hope to see that next time